Hey folks, uh, just giving an update on my garden. Um, it's doing pretty good. I've got uh, some corn out of there already, and I counted earlier. I've got, uh, I think I counted 17 ears of corn that are ready to pull. So I'm going to pull those uh, this evening, well, in a couple of hours. But, uh, my corn actually did better than I thought it would. Um, this is the the best I've ever done with corn, but uh, someone told me that you have to plant corn in um, like groups. You can't just plant one single row and expect it to yield anything because it pollinates itself or they pollinate each other. This is what you see on the top up here. Um, but so I planted three rows this time and I got a hell of a lot of corn. Um, well, for this little garden, I mean, um, some of it, uh, like those little stalks right there, I had to replant. Um, these few right here, I had to replant, but I'm confident that they're going to, um, produce. Uh, but there's my. A row of my okra, yeah, my rows are a little crooked, but uh, that's all right. Crooked rows means you can get more food in there. That's what I always heard anyways. Um, here's my Christmas butter beans. I think that's what this is. Let's see. Yeah, this is my Christmas butter beans. They're doing pretty good. They're not ready to pick yet or harvest yet. Um, they got probably another week and those will be ready to harvest and I put a row of okra right down beside those beans I'm a little worried about that because that don't give me much room down through here to cut that okra because it's gonna get uh, it'll probably get about five and a half six foot tall okra usually does Unless you get dwarf okra. And there's another row of Christmas beans. Another row of okra. Again, I'm worried about that. And bush beans. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, bush beans. Bush beans. Bush beans. And I've got a couple of rows of peas. Oh, they're over there. Um. And I got some cucumbers right here and squash over there, different squash plants. But the reason this is, they're just like plant, growing everywhere. I, I, they were in rows. And then um, it was the next day after I planted them, it came a big storm. And this, it just flooded this part right here. And the seeds settled back in wherever they wanted to. So, uh, but they're still doing good though. Um, I got, ended up with like 12 plants of uh, squash, which was fine with me. Because that's going to make a lot of squash. Um, got these two uh, little squash. I'm going to cut those this evening. And pull me some a couple of ears of corn. And I wish my uh, beans were ready. I would have me a nice supper tonight. But uh, I have uh, some squash, corn. I think I'll throw some hamburger steak and uh, make a meal out of it. So, but I'm leaving in two days. I'm heading back out west. I'm going to Wyoming and, uh, well, I'm going everywhere. Uh, like I have the last three summers. So I'm leaving, leaving my garden in the care of my oldest son. Um, he says he's going to take care of it for me. And uh, I hope he does. Because I would really hate to see all that food wasted. Um, but he will. He'll, uh, he'll take care of it good for me. And uh, 
he told me he's gonna um of course eat out of it but he's gonna also um put some in the freezer uh for me whenever i get back at the end of the summer i'll have uh, there should be enough of food in there for oh gosh a couple of families um but all right folks that's it i just wanted to give a update on my little garden oh my poor little tomato plants i'm not a tomato eater so i only planted two plants and they are not looking too sporty that one there it's just plum puny and then there looks a little bit better um they look better today than they did two days ago i thought you know they, they that was it but they're actually perking back up some um, so, we'll see, but I'm not a big tomato fan anyways. I just planted them just, just because. Um, so, anyways, that's it, folks. There's no dog, my retarded dog. He jumped on me earlier. Scratched my arm all the way up. Uh, but he was just playing. He just gets excited. And, uh, but he's a good boy, though. He did get a good popping for it, though. Didn't you, buddy? Huh? Didn't you, buddy? Hey, Lincoln. What's he doing? No, don't jump. Yeah, there you go. All right, folks. We'll get off here. Screaming y'all later, taters.